Hey guys, today I have a very special patient, our medical assistant, my right hand person all throughout the day. Evelyn is going to be getting her first actual injectable treatment. So I thought what we'd do is since we had a little bit of time, we would do a full consult. So patients who are not yet patients in our practice or new patients have a little bit better understanding of what we do. So when you come into the clinic, you're gonna fill out some paperwork. Most, almost all of our paperwork is done electronically um, to minimize waste and for privacy and security reasons. And then you'll be asked to remove your makeup. Uh, I like to have all makeup removed before I do an evaluation so I can see the complete face. Um, and also makeup removal is important before having an injectable treatment because if we keep the makeup on the skin and a needle introduces that makeup into the skin, you can get an infection. So makeup removal is important both for my assessment so I can see things as well as uh, for the safety of the treatment. When you come in, so you filled out the electronic paperwork, you have also removed your makeup. Now we would take a set of photos on you. 10 plus photos in multiple different angles. This is for documentation, medical documentation, and also over time to see how you are responding to your treatment and how your results are progressing. So that's a real important part of our office. We have a photo room and we have a person dedicated to taking photos. You'll meet Christian when you come here to our practice. Um, and so that's an important part. And once all of that is done, patient is brought into the room, a little quick medical history is taken with our, by our staff and then the case is presented to me. I come into the room and do what I call a cosmetic consultation and I take a look at the whole face uh, and the whole neck and chest and try to give my recommendations. Also looking at the skin, we look at eyelids, we look at the mid face, we look at the lower face, the lips, we look at the whole structure of the face as well. So. Evelyn, first time really kind of, I've already seen her photos and I'm looking at her closely. And there's a few things that I saw right off the bat. She has some static lines on her forehead that I'd like to soften up. So frown for me, she has a pretty strong uh, glabellar complex. So she frowns uh, and we can relax those lines. And then I want to try to open up her eyes. She has heaviness of her eyelids. So I'm probably gonna use a lower dose on her forehead, higher dose in the glabella and around the eyes trying to get the eyebrows uh, raised and the eyes more open. I also see that she grinds her teeth, um, probably working with me is causing her some stress and so now she's grinding her teeth. But treating the masseters with uh, Dysport will slim the lower face and also help with any symptoms she has from the grinding. When I look at her, so that's kind of what I'm thinking about with uh, Dysport and Neuromodulator, uh, upper face and masseters possibly a little bit along the jawline. And then what I see on uh, Evelyn is, I think she's lost a little bit of volume um, in her mid face. And so I'll put, I recommend a little bit of filler in her cheeks just to kind of lift up the face, soften up the nasal labial folds. And I think she has a slightly recessed chin and some pre-jowl hollowing. And so I'd probably use a filler like Resto and Define and, and fill in the lower face as well. And then when I look at her lips, she has nice projection and nice volume in the lower lip. I may give a little bit more definition and just a little bit more volume in the upper lip to kind of balance things out. And then when I come to her skin, she's got good skin, but she does suffer from hormonal acne. And so she's gonna, we've already got her started on a Zio skincare regimen, washing her face, scrubbing, exfoliating, and toning her face, and then using Daily Power Defense, which is gonna provide some antioxidant protection, some barrier renewal. And then I'm gonna put her on, of course, sunscreen. 90% of extrinsic aging of the skin is related to the sun. And finally, for the hormonal acne, we're gonna start by putting her on a prescription strength tretinoin and see if that doesn't help with some of the acne that she gets cyclically throughout, uh, throughout the year. And then, I think maybe she would respond nicely to a series of ZO three-step peels that will both help with the texture of the skin, help with the minimal acne scarring that she has, and also the salicylic acid in that peel will help with the acne itself. So that's kind of the kind of a quick consult how we do things. Um, we looked at her upper face, the mid face, the lower face, the jawline. We looked at her eyelids. We looked at her under eyes, her cheeks, her lips, and her chin, and then the overall skin envelope as well. And that's what I call a consultation.